Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Some of you have been requesting that I throw myself into a little bit of a challenge that uh, another YouTuber has created in relation to a speedrun in Australia. Um, from the Sunshine Coast down to Brisbane in less than 15 minutes. So we've got our work cut out for us today but I'm not one to shake a challenge and it looks like a good one as well in this Just Flight F. 28. And I can't think of a better livery to do it in. We're going to be using our Osprey Airways Retrojet, uh, the F-28 4000 variant today. So, from what I understand of the rules, from what I've seen so far, is we've got a takeoff from Sunshine Coast here, uh, SBSU for the four-letter code, and then head down to Brisbane, YBBN. We're on live weather as well, just to kind of mix things up and keep it a bit of a challenge. And this is something apparently that um, pilots years ago used to do. They used to be about 300 knots, around 5,000 feet, and uh, they would complete this route in about 10 minutes. Uh, in fact, uh, a slightly shorter route um, as it is, but this is the modern day equivalent because of the way uh, airports have closed and new ones have opened through the space of time. So I hope you enjoy it. Hit like and subscribe, share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you give it a go as well, share your times down there too. So, how this is going to work then is it's chock to chock. We're going to start the timer from the moment we release the parking brake and we're off blocks. And then we're going to stop the timer when we're on blocks in Brisbane. Not really sure how this is going to go. But I'm going to throw myself into it one time only and see what happens. Uh, we've got some passengers loaded in anyway and some weight just to kind of keep the aeroplane handling nicely. And uh, we're expecting a 4 knot tailwind into Brisbane today because I want to land on 1-9 left as well. 1101 is the ILS frequency tuned in for Brisbane and the course 196. And 11420 on Nav 2 which is what we've got tracking at the moment is the VOR outbound from Sunshine Coast. Uh, we're going to fly outbound 158 degrees. So we're going to close the doors, get the engines on, and get the timer ready. Start master on, engine 2 start. Engine one start. Love the spark in this. We're going to go flap 11 for today. As we extend the flaps, we're going to do our control surface checks. Start master off. APU off. Engine 
air conditioning is set. Veto heating set. With that in mind, parking brake is still on. Now it's off. Let's go. Runway 3-1, it's going to be sporty folks, we've got a lot to do, time is ticking away from us. So, everything's set, these speeds are set, I'm also going to set the speed bug, uh, in a while, once we get airborne, we're going to keep the power going. There we go. 80 knots. A little bit of a crosswind for us to play with today. Rotate. Up we go. Positive rate. Gear up. Get the charts ready for Brisbane on the ground. So we're going to press the fan to hide them. And outbound. Here we go. Up. One thousand. Still accelerating. Set climb power. Set. Two hundred knots. Still working. Accelerating as we go. 250 knots, they would continue through this in real life, all the way up to 300 knots apparently, which is remarkable. 2 minutes 24 seconds. Two hundred and fifty knots. There's the coastline, I'm aiming for it. Gonna put the yaw damper on just to assist us. We're gonna keep this in manual flights. 300 knots. Three thousand six hundred feet. Still climbing. Let's keep that power in, keep the speed coming up. Four thousand one to go. Almost at BNE, 5,000. Multitasking there to level up. Trying to just settle the aeroplane at 5,000 feet. Where we can. What's remarkably fun about this aeroplane is the fact that you have to really work uh, to keep control of it when you're hand flying. It's potentially unforgiving at times. I'm not going to fight to intercept the radial because that's just a waste of time. We're at 4 minutes 23 seconds. We know we've got to hug the coast down to Brisbane. 15 minutes is the time. 
pitch up a little bit there just to hold 5,000 a bit more accurately. And we're going to keep all the landing light signs, everything like that on for the duration of the flight today. There's our speed. Right on the cusp of VNE. We're holding that actually quite nicely. Round we go. And we're just going to come right at Tad now just to fly that outbound radial that we'd set 158 degrees. Like so. Okay, 37 track miles is the distance for this. And we're almost there. My goodness, 5 minutes 40. We're going to hand fly the ILS. We're going to keep the speed up as close as possible to touchdown. We've got to bear in mind um, our gear extension speeds and all that sort of stuff as well. This is full on. The F-28 though looking absolutely stunning in this livery. Lights on, smoke out the back, blasting around Australia. 5,000 feet at 300 knots, my goodness. Six minutes, 25. Here we go. So now I'm going to set 4,000, one above, getting the charts ready, bet so, 3,000, going to bring that nose down a little bit just to start our descent, sorting out my headset if there is clicks in the background of the video, little change of power just to help us with the descent here because I don't want to overspeed and now through descent I'm going to pop TTC to take off again speeds come down, I don't want that. Nav 1. 110 decimal 1. 156, 196 to match. <laughs> this is busy. Come down to 3,000 feet here because Brisbane's coming up and I want to be at about, well, near to 3,000 feet uh, effectively. Um, at least at Agato, it's 1,509 DME 3,000, so that's where we're going to actually try and work to intercept the ILS from. So I'm going to keep coming down to 3,000 because we are going very fast and it's going to be on us quicker than we realise. We see it yet. That looks like the airport over there coming in from the distance. 3,000. So we'll bring that nose up gently. We are going very fast. Could overstress the aircraft. Little bump and a wiggle. 3,000 feet. Just going to come left a little bit here. Eight minutes thirty-five. My goodness. Well, right, I can see the runway. Going to continue now, just to drift down slightly to two thousand five hundred feet, maybe even two thousand feet. One nine left is the ILS we're going to be flying. But uh, we're effectively just going to be doing a visual approach and touchdown for this. So we're tracking it on the OBS down the bottom. This feels very busy, my goodness. Okay, 19 right is now just coming off the screen. 2500, check.
set some minimums. 300 knots still. That extra speed there in the turn, we're going to need to bleed that off somehow, but also consider that uh, with the turn, we can overshoot very quickly here. Lining up. Two thousand feet. Holding that for a little while now. Keeping the speed up. We can get the gear down and the flaps extended nice and quick here. We're gonna use that big speed break out the back of the aircraft to decelerate rapidly, I think. That's gonna be the plan. Four knot tailwind though. That's going to push us towards the airfield a bit quicker. Beautiful views of Brisbane up ahead. Uh, warning, push to reset. That's because we're getting low without configuration for touchdown. I'm actually going to bring it in slightly high here. I'm going to get rid of the throttle. Undercarriage, horn silence. 10 minutes 51. Okay, now the speed breaks all the way out. Gears coming down. Going to ignore those warnings. It's getting a little bit buffety for us, but we've got it still. I think I'm quite happy with this. Just watching for flap extension speeds now. There we go, let's go full flap. Speed's bleeding off really quickly now. One, 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 seven knots. Okay, still got flaps extending. Speed's coming down. Here we go, two red, two white. Continue. One, twenty-seven. And now, flap 42 over the threshold. 15. Speed brake extended. Looking ahead. 15. Down. Down. Oh, a little bumpy there. We've still got it though. That's good. I'll take it. Right. 80 knots. Clear those flaps. Keep a little bit of power in. Onto the overhead panel. Main switch on. Counting to 10. Going to vacate. 12 minutes 46 seconds. Flaps are up. Lift spoilers retracted. APU on. And brakes now on the high speed exit to vacate through that threshold point. There's the stands, strobes, landing lights. That's not good, that's going to afford us some time. Lost. Come on, girl. 13 19. APU's good. Thirteen, thirty-nine. Round we go. We're gonna park the same stance to keep it consistent on arrival. Okay, and on the brakes. Park brake set. Chock. Stop the clock. Fourteen minutes. Zero eight seconds. And there you have it, folks. How are you going to do it? 14 minutes, 8 seconds, and 63 milliseconds. To be precise, there on my stopwatch, 
Hopefully that matches up with exactly what you've been timing as we've been flying along as well. Hit like and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this one, the speedrun challenge. And share your own results down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.